So that there's my computer monitor, and there's my computer, and um, there's my iPod Touch. Now, as you can see, my iPod is connected to my computer with a USB, but that's just for charging reasons. This is completely wireless, and um, what I'm about to do. This is an app running at the moment on this called AirMouse Pro. It's probably one of the coolest iPod apps you can get. So if I just pinch and zoom, I can zoom in on the computer. Let's zoom in here too. And then I can basically navigate my way around like uh like um I can get them one in. Like as if it's a touch pad. Um just move the camera over to the iPod now. Um it's also of course got left click, right click. Um if I shake that up, you also get a full size keyboard. Well, I don't mean a full size keyboard, I mean a full QWERTY keyboard keyboard which you can type into so you can um t type into, you know, um the address bar on Firefox or type up a comment or pretty much just use it as it for whatever need you'd need a keyboard for. It also comes with a control button and windows button so you can use all those shortcut keys. Now if I press this little arrow over here I get these controls for iTunes. See it actually has special controls designed for applications and they update it all the time the applications it supports. Um the iTunes um application remote sometimes doesn't work so that's the only problem I've ever really had but maybe if I click on iTunes there yeah you have to actually click iTunes first and um it's playing now but uh, uh my speakers must be off but it is playing those songs and then you've got a uh, if you click I don't know what I clicked here, but that's this is what I was going to show you. Um, you've basically got a very Mac-like looking uh, application launcher. So you can have all your applications, like Safari Web Browser, Internet Explorer, and Firefox, and Picasa, and Views, and all those applications. And you can um, click them. I'll click that one there. And I went into 3D, uh, flip 3D, and then Picasa opens up there. And then... Casa should have its own um, controls now. Oh no, I think it only. I think. Oh no, they only. The when they update the application list, it only supports the launchers. However, the actual controls only work on iTunes, as you can see here for music, and the web browser uh, controls. Um, I'm not sure if the music might also work on Windows Media Player. The music controls, then Home. I think home just goes to you. Oh, that goes, that's how you get to the application launcher. I thought that there was actually special controls for all the support applications, but it's just them launchers for them. And then, of course, you can pull your keyboard. And um, you can um, use it in landscape mode, of course. And uh, you've also got a scroll wheel here. But that tends to put the computer, in, if you're on Windows, into the flip 3D sometimes. Um, there is also a feature to use it as an air mouse so you can actually move the iPod and that will move the controls on the move your cursor on the screen however I don't know if I have that option turned off Um, I think I, I'm not really sure I can't really remember how to use that because I never use it it's really really bad um, no it's not doing anything there Um, but uh there's never really a need to use it, it doesn't work, it's so much easier just to use it, the touchpad here. I mean it's, if you have it on its side and you um, drop down the keyboard, you know it's a pretty big touchpad, it's bigger than your standard laptop's touchpad so it works great. And um, that's pretty most of the features of this application. There is a free version uh, hit, um, that got released a while ago, when I got this it, you had to pay for it. I only paid like one euro fifty, so it's not too bad for what it does. But um, there is a free version that um only supports the touchpad. It pretty much just gives you a touchpad, which is pretty much the main reason I use it. I don't really use most of their features. 
I don't even though even though there, it is the application is actually called Air Mouse because you're supposed to be able to use it as an Air Mouse. The free version doesn't actually support that feature, even though I, you wouldn't want it anyway. It's a rubbish feature, the Air Mouse feature. Maybe it'll work better if they integrate it with the iPhone 4's new gyroscope, but I don't know. And uh, I'm not sure about all the others. The free version may have uh, all these other features too. The free version definitely has a full keyboard you can use. I'm not sure if it has the application launcher dock or the iTunes controls or the browser controls, but um, it definitely does um, work though the free version. But of course, this is the paid version. So um, try out the free version, and if you like it and you want them um, all the features, go ahead and buy it, I suppose. Um, but this is pretty good, uh, pretty good application. So I definitely recommend you check it out, especially especially since it's a free version. You can always try it first. Um, so thank you and I'll see you in the next video.